Your microphone just doesn't sound right, but all the tutorials on YouTube are boring and way too long. Well, here's some streaming quick tips for OBS audio. Okay, so obviously you need to add some filters to your microphone. For that, you right click on your microphone source and select filters, which will bring up this audio filter menu. You add these four filters in this specific order from the plus button menu down below. The first and probably most important filter is the noise suppression filter. This will take care of your basic background noise that the mic is picking up. For me, for example, that's a lot of birds from outside. Those goddamn birds. So without the filter being activated, my mic sounds like this when I'm not speaking. And with the microphone filter being activated, my mic sounds like this when I'm not speaking. Huge difference. You can either have this set to RN noise, which will automatically take care of all the settings. If you have a potato CPU, you can set it to speaks, which lets you manually adjust the setting. I would suggest to start from zero decibel and then slowly adjust it down to see when there is going to be no reaction from your microphone anymore when you're not talking. As with all the settings, if there is a slider, play around with it because your setting might be vary from other people's setting. The second filter is the noise gate filter, which basically lets you set a starting and stopping point for your mic to pick up noise. This is useful, especially in very loud environments where the noise suppression does not quite get the job done. You can adjust this by the open and close threshold sliders. With everything, you've got to test around and figure out which setting works the best for you. Just be aware that if you're setting the settings too aggressive, it might cut you off mid-sentence or at the beginning or the end of your sentence. For me, the noise suppression already does the job, so I don't need to activate noise gate. For you, it might vary, so you just got to test it out. The third filter is the compressor, which basically lets you control if your mic is set too loud or you're yelling at your viewers again, that if you're hitting the red bars or you're clipping even outside of that, that your mic is compressed down more into the yellow area where it is easier to understand what the hell you're talking about. For this filter, the most important setting is the threshold and the ratio. For example, it is set to negative 16 for me now, which means uh, somewhere in the lower yellow here, when I'm overshooting those 16, it is compressing everything that is over 16 down. The ratio tells you how much it is compressing. So for every four decibel in my case that I'm overshooting, I'm going to reduce that to one decibel. Meaning if I would all the way shoot to negative 12 decibel, it would compress it and only bring me to negative 15 instead, which makes a way nicer result. The default for this is 10 decibel, which is a little bit aggressive. So you might need to play around with this. I find something between four and five is actually working out pretty nice. The fourth filter is the gain filter, which is basically just the way to adjust the volume of your microphone. So you can put the gain down if your mic is too loud, or if you have usually the cheaper mics, if it's too silent, you can up the gain and therefore increase the volume of the microphone by losing a little bit of quality. Again, it's a slider, play around with it, see what setting works for you the best. All right, that's about it for this video. Of course, as with everything, there is a lot more detailed information if you want to further fine tune your audio settings for OBS, but this should give you a really good base setup with really great audio that your viewers will actually enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to not miss any further videos, and maybe even leave a comment below. Now go out there and stream and I see you next time.